Hi subbies, how you all doing? Welcome to another video. I know it's late, I'm sorry. Um, I was going to film it and then I wasn't going to film it and then it was a small haul at first but then I went to Asda again and got some more stuff so I left it till today. I'm sorry it's late. No excuse, I'm sorry. Um, today's another try and Asda haul. I went recently again and I bought some new clothes because next week on my days off it's supposed to be 26 degrees roughly in Eden. Um, which is great, not, I absolutely hate in the hot weather at the moment, like on the odd days it's hot, it's alright, but not every single day of the week for two weeks running, that's just awful. Like today, went to work, and this morning went to work, it was drizzling, and then it thrashed it down when we got delivery in, and then, two minutes later when I went back out, it was pure sun, and I was like, where the heck has the sun come from? But yesterday I've gone over to Asda Hall, I do have some news unfortunately, once the boiler, the tap stops rungin', rungin', is running, should I say. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, we are not going on holiday this year. It has been cancelled, unfortunately. Me and mum knew, kind of knew it was coming. We kind of knew it was going to happen. But it was, I was, I was generally hopeful that it wasn't going to be cancelled. But unfortunately, it's been cancelled. So, I will not be able to, I will not be going to Wales this year, unfortunately. Which is very heartbreaking news. Um, I was really looking forward to it. I've saved up precisely £259 so far from a holiday. Of course, we cannot forget we can go next year, but it all depends on some factors. So fingers crossed for next year, but yeah, full year at home, which we haven't had a full year at home, as in from January to December, um, for over 10 years, because we've been going to Wales every single year for 10 years, running. So for the first year we're not going, it's going to be very strange. But yes, don't know what else to say. We were supposed to go to Wales a week after my birthday. Not happening this year. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's get on into a happy note and let's get on with this haul. So, I'm going to do non try on things. Yes, this is another try on haul. I'm going to do non try on things first because I've got this big Take Me to the Beach. How iconic and how ironic is this bag at the moment? Um, Safi B bag. Safi B bag. Safi Barker, um, Saffron Barker, yeah, Safi B, um, bag from Primark. It is a beach bag, but I use it as a shopping bag because we are not going to the beach this year. Anyway, there's lots of stuff in here which I aren't try on, so I'm going to do all the non try on stuff on haul, all the non try on haul stuff first, and then I'll be doing the try on haul, try on stuff afterwards. Anyway, it is currently late. Well, I say late, it's half seven. Um, but yes, I'm going to do, oh my god, I'm going to do the non try on stuff first. I did give my granddad a Father's Day bag, um, which I've just given to him um, through social distancing. Of, so, through social distancing, of course, I'm stumbling my words really badly. It's warm in here, and I don't have to my jumper off, cause yeah, reasons. Um, but yeah, got my Father's Day bag. I'm not seeing my dad till lockdown's finished, so that could be a year. Hopefully not. Um, but I'm not give, I've sent him a card through the post and that got to him and he's thankful for it but like I'm not going to give him, him his present until um, I see him once this, once we're allowed to see people. But yes, first thing first is a speaker. I got this mini wireless speaker, compact way to listen to music on the go which I'm not going to be doing. But this is a compact speaker, look how tiddy it is. This was originally, I think it said six quid or four pound. They have got a clearance for, I think it's getting discontinued, for £2. This was two quid. Of course I bought it. It's like the other one which I've got over there, which is a waterproof one. This one is splash proof as well. For £2, I was like, I'm not, not getting that. So, yes, a blue waterproof, well, no, blue splash proof um, wireless speaker. And, because obviously I've got my iPod, but I like having my music louder sometimes. So, that's what it looks like. Don't know what I'll say about it. It's just a speaker. Uh, micro USB charging, up to 6 hours playback, Bluetooth, splash proof, speakerphone and includes micro USB charge lead. But yep, yeah, 2 quid for this is a good bargain. A good bargain. Oh my god, it's got a film on top of it. And they have not taken it off. The satisfaction of peeling the plastic off of a packaging. Sorry, but that satisfaction is just... Oh, that was so nice. I didn't know there was plastic. I generally thought it was just the um, the plastic had 
being tampered with or something, but no. There it is. No else much to say about that. It's just a wireless speaker and I don't think it's got any charge in it. I highly doubt it has any charge in it. Um, I generally, generally don't think it's got any charge in it. I'll try to open it for you guys, but it's not really happening. It's got very sticky, sticky tape on the corners for people to tamper with. It's cost Asda now in guys they have a huge clearance. They've got all like homeware and birthday stuff on clearance and also some clothes. The clothes are scattered around the shop and this was upstairs. So they've got some home stuff and TV stuff and obviously music stuff on clearance. So I didn't realise this was there until I looked on the top shelf. But yes, here it is. If I can get it out, it is today. Here it is, and it has one of them very, oh, it isn't even that sealable, but yeah. There's the aux in and the charger. I want to know if it's got power in it. Oh, you can also, oh, that is ace. That is ace. You can make it so that the ribbon, how the heck do I get it up there though? Oh. Oh, there we go. You can make it so that the ribbon is like this. You can make it a little titty one so it has like its little compartment there. Anyway, how do you turn it on? I don't know how to turn it on. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. It's on. I don't have a Bluetooth on at the moment. But yes, it's on now. As you can see, it's blinking away. But yeah, it's on now. Let's turn it off. Power off. Of course it has an American accent. Of course it does. Anyway, there it is. There's a speaker for two quid. It is loud as well. I can't play music over it, unfortunately. Due to the fact, I will get a very big copyright notice. I don't want them at the moment. No, thank you very much. Anyway, next thing is, as they now have face coverings in, they actually have fabric face coverings. I bought two pack, as in two packs, because I thought it came with one mask in each. There is a, um, you can, there is a limit of 10 per customer for these. I'm pretty sure it was, it was either 10 or six, and that's a big difference, but I'm pretty sure it was either 10 or six. Pretty sure it's 10. But yes, I generally thought there was just one in the pack. Turns out, they have two face masks in a pack. These were like £2.50, I think. I can't remember. Let me go get the receipt. Um, I'll show you one pack though because they're both the exact same. So, it just looks like this at the front. I generally thought it was one of them masks, you know, the proper ones that like go over the nose and bridge like that. They're not. They're not. They are not. How I was mistaken, I don't know. Obviously, you cannot try them in the shop, but they've got like two full baskets with them. So, here is the mask. And they are frilly. They are frilly, guys. They are frilly. Um, I just wanted some more, because obviously, I want, obviously, I've got the black ones, but I am wanting enough so that, like, when they're in the wash, I can use another one. But here they are. As you can see, they have frills on the top. And that is the mask. And it is a good one. Oh god. It is a good one because it does cover the full nose and mouth. And as you can see, it's one of them ones where um sorry, my hair does made of a mask on. It does my head rind of that. Anyway, it's one of them ones which you when you breathe out with masks you shouldn't feel your breath coming out of the mask. And this one does that. This one does not have that effect as you can see obviously it's one that keeps the breath in so when you breathe out you cannot feel the air coming out of your mouth so that's good that's what you want um, with a mask just if you're buying masks don't buy them off wish or anything else because they're rubbish i would say another word but i'm not getting be monetized they're rubbish masks but yes here it is and that's all it is i don't like it though i will wear them if it comes to it but i don't like it i prefer the black ones but yeah that's the mask. That is the mask. And they all look like that as well. So they were like 
£2.50. I'm pretty sure they were two fifty each. And they've got the... I also bought some surgical ones from Grandma because she needed some. And they were £2.80. So, yes, next... They were definitely like 2 50 for something, guys. I can't bother going to see right now, so sorry. Um, next thing is, as I said about clearance... As I was saying, clearance, they have these. And which you can see there... Mermaid two egg cups. One pound fifty they were. And we've only got one egg cup. And I now know how to boil an egg. I know. Amazing, right? A celebration in a half celebration in half is due. Anyway, I got that egg timer from Cherries and since using that I know when to take the eggs out and stuff. So before I didn't really trust myself doing it, but now I got the egg timer I can do it really easily. But we only have one egg cup because Mum Molly is the one in the house only eats boiled eggs because she knows how to make them, she's got one egg cup for herself. But these were quite adorable and when I saw how much they were from, I was like, of course I'm going to buy them. So I'm going to swap them over, here are the cups. It says here, six pound. They were six quid, 150, they were six pound guys. Of course I'm going to buy them for one pound 50 from six quid. Six quid for these, I would never spend six quid on these ever. But yes, here they are. They're super adorable. They're really nice. I'm only going to show you one because they're exactly the same. But here they are, guys. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, look at that focus. But yes, there's a little mermaid tail and then tail goes into the cup. The cup isn't too deep, but like it's deep enough to hold an egg. But they're so cute, guys. And it's like very te it's textured with all the bumps and the mermaid um, scales. Um, but yeah, it's this really nice bluey green um, colour and it's kind of like a, a chrome as well on the tail because it has a shimmery there. But yeah, there they are and I think they're super adorable and they look like little teacups as well. But yeah, they're super cute and for 150 of course I was going to get them for that much, not 6 quid. But yeah, very happy with them and very happy that I can now have boiled eggs in my mermaid cups. Next item is toilet brush. We needed a new one. It's it explains itself. It's a toilet brush, seventy five p. And I wanted the cheap one because they're just easy to dispose of. Right. Next items are actually from Morrison's, but um, yeah, I've just said toilet brush, and I'm saying but now. Anyway. Um, I got this from Morrison's, but um, I want to show them in this haul because they're quite cheap and I can't believe how cheap they were. I wanted to get some toothbrushes to like clean. Sorry, how long have been filming? 2.43, not too bad. Um, I wanted to get some toothbrushes so I can clean around like the taps and the plugs and like little bit nuts and crannies where it's like dirt can get in but a sponge can't get to. So, I got two packs of Morrison's. Um, these are Morrison's own. There was Morrison's service, but there's also Morrison's own that's a bit more expensive. Two pushes, 50p per four pack. They also do have single two pushes for like 20p each, but they didn't have any in the store I was at. So I got two packs of the Morrison's 50p ones. 50p for four brushes is such a great price. So I did buy two packs because I couldn't not get not one pack because... I'm going to be using these for cleaning um, the like kitchen, not kitchen, the bathroom, all the taps and stuff where it's like dirt gets in but the sponges can't. But yeah, there they are. They're just basic, they're just basic brushes. I don't use these ones anymore. I only use an electric one. Um, I use one of these when I go to Top of Sock. Unfortunately, not this year. Um, but I use one of these when I go to Wales and I use my um, electric one at home. But I haven't used one of these since last year, so... Yay. Um, but yeah, there they are. Basically, we brushes, 50p each. Definitely great for cleaning um, um, <clears throat> nuts and crannies and like seals and stuff. But yeah, they were, they were great bargain. What's next? Oh my god, this bag is so heavy. Next is, I don't want to show you too much in here because I don't want to spoil the items which I've got to try on. Next is sanitary bags. Um, I ran out while I'm running out and I wanted to get some, they were 40p each and they're self-explanatory, self-explainable as well, if that makes sense, 40p each, 40p, 
god, five p each for a pack of cilantro bags, which explain themselves. Next items are some more hand wash. We are running low. I only have so many bottles left, and we are obviously caught. Of course, we are going. Um, I'm every time the so dispenser. I don't know how to explain myself. It's just hand wash. But every time my soap soap dispenser drops so far. I fill it up with another bottle so that I can keep it full but my camera's not going to die on me because I've been recording too long. Um, so I've bought three bottles of the, it is three per person for um, hand wash and antibacterial now. But I bought, I think it's, yeah it's the same for everything actually in NASDA. It's three items per person of each single item. But I've got three bottles of the um, Asta Original Care um, hand wash. It's 500 millilitres and this is the stuff that reminds me of the stuff which they use in the chalet for holiday. It's got the exact same smell. <laughs> Memories. But yeah, I've got three bottles of that, so now we have plenty of hand wash and don't need any more until we run out. And for some reason they are quite puffy, which is never great, is it? Anyway, the next items are all clothes. One of them I'll not try on though because it's a pyjamas and I don't want to exactly wear these on camera because like it's pyjamas. It's a pyjama bottoms. You never know, I might try them on at the end, it depends. And I'll walk because it's a train haul for clothing clothing, not pyjama clothing. I'm not at that point yet. Anyway, I got myself some shorts. I don't like the, des the designs alright. Um, I got a pack of Disney pyjamas last year from Primark. Um, Primark is now opening in Leeds which is great, but I'm not waiting in an hour queue to get into Primark, no way, and I'm not risking it anyway, because I cannot believe the queue is an hour long on the first day, but it's just ridiculous. So, as in, it's just bad that people are just running out to clothes shops. I didn't, I let it go like a couple of weeks before I went to Asda. But, um, I needed some new bottoms. The ones from Primark, they're too small for me now. I still wear them, but they're showing more than I want to show from my bum. So yeah, they're having to get um, donated. I can say dispose of then. But yes, I got myself a new pack, a new pair of shorts for a night time. Due to the fact that next week's supposed to be 26 degrees, which I've said many, many times now. But I wanted to get wear shorts because in my bedroom it gets super hot. And I, of course, I use my um, fan. And I'm like wanting to keep my air circulation and stuff. So um, I have windows up and stuff. But... I am wanting it to wear shorts on the night time with a, sm a like vest top. So I got these ones, they were size 12, 12 to 14. They were much cheaper than buying a single, a actual pyjama set because the pyjama sets are about 15 to 20 pound at Pri not Primark Asda. I didn't know they actually did just shorts, so I got myself just a nice pair of shorts, four pound. Yeah, pyjama shorts. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I got a colander. I colander. I thought it was called the coriander when I first got it. I know. Um, for pasta and like salad, which I'm not going to use it for because I don't eat salad. I don't eat healthy. Well, I do. Oh, that's just another topic that's going to hit off my channel. Um, I do eat healthy. I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to explain myself. Anyway, I got colander so that I can eat pasta easier with like draining the stuff. We're draining the pasta. And I'm just tip the pan with a plate on top and just tip it to the side and go drain it, let it drain out. But now I've got a colander, it's going to be easier. Last night I had pasta. That's why I got this, but I didn't use it last night because it wasn't washed and I couldn't bother using it. Um, and after I ate the pasta, I came out in a rash on my hands and I also started shaking and felt thin. My camera has got a temperature warning. This speaker is incredible. I've just played it for a good 10 minutes, well, five, 10 minutes. Whilst my camera has been um, cooling down and it is great, I only have it on so high. Cause obviously I'm not in my own home, I'm in my own flat, I'm in a family home and I don't wanna um, disturb my mum or give my mum angry at me from music too loud. But yes, I look like I'm swollen here and it's doing my head in. Oh, I know why, I know why. Cause I've got a spot there. Next item is a try on items. So the next item is, oh yeah, you saw the bottoms, didn't you? I got myself a play suit. 
Um, actually, that's quite iconic, ironic because I got both play suit and a something suit, which I'll tell you afterwards. But yes, I got this black play suit for my holiday. Not going on anymore. Anyway, I got this black play suit. I know it's very plain, but it's a size medium and it's the only play suit they had in a size medium, which is size 12 to 14, and it was £8. Um, I kept the receipt just in case I want to take this back because. The pink one, which is, if I get it right, yeah, which is this one, is also a medium and it doesn't fit me anymore. So I had that one, which is getting donated now when they eventually come and get it. But this one has pockets, this one, black one doesn't. But this is, the this one, the pink, oh my gosh, where's the label? Ah, oh, it's right down the leg. This one is also a medium. So, and this one, I am too, f not fat, but I've got too big stomach because it makes me look pregnant in it. So, that one's getting donated because I've grown out of it due to the fat lockdown and I eat more. Um, but yes, I've got this this one, which, if because it's the same size as that one, I'm most likely going to be taking this back because I don't want to be wearing it and feeling comfortable in it or like just wearing it for the fact that I bought it. I don't know how to say that I don't want to wear it just so that I don't look fat in it. I don't want to wear it. I don't want to have. I don't want to put it on to find out that it's not the right size because that that medium is obviously the same size as this one, and I don't want to like pay for this, which I have done, of course, and then end up feeling like I have to keep hold of it. So if it's too small, I'm not comfortable in it. I will be going back. Ugh. That is grim. Oh, we're going back to get a refund. As you can see, here it is. I thought it might look better on, but it doesn't. I don't like black. I don't know why I bought it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, here it is on. And I did go and wash my mouth out. Because yes, that hanger did go in my mouth. I washed it out. It's all fine. Just hoping that I washed it out quick enough. Just in case there's something on the hanger. Anyway, here it is. I don't like it. Uh, it don't. I don't suit black personally. I don't like the colour black, but I thought it's like now a cute on or something. But here it is, and the best thing is, it is the right size because it covers my butt, and it also covers my chest, and I don't look too bad here in it. So I might end up keeping that other place too, because obviously I don't have much summer stuff anymore. And with it coming to summer, I was just about to say I'm me going holiday, but with it coming to summer and it getting hotter in the UK. I would need more summer clothing to, and then I've thrown a load away to charity so I need to get some more summer clothing but this will most likely be going back guys because I just don't like it on me it might to some people it might suit me to some people it might yeah it might suit me but like to me I just don't like the colour obviously it's just a plain black play suit but I don't like it I'm sorry hi guys the next item is yes I am in my play suit I know I could have a bothered getting back into my day clothes, which I've wanted it, which I've wanted it after work. The next item is a jumpsuit. Congratulations to you who have guessed this in the comments below, which you wouldn't know because I didn't ask you to. But yes, I've got myself a jumpsuit. I like this a lot. I tried it on yesterday when I got it, and I must say the bottoms, because like I was expecting it to be a bit more sucky to the leg, but it isn't. It's very open plan, as you, I'd say. But yes, here it is. It's a really nice, I really like it. But it's a net, I've never had one like this before. The normal ones I've got is, um, I got that one a couple of years ago. Which I wore to holiday. How many memories are going to bring up for holiday? And it was like a normal, yeah, it was a normal neckline and everything. But this one, um, the straps for the, this bit here, the straps for the neck slash shoulder it's actually the bit that goes on the back, so once you put, because it's got these huge slits in the side of it, when you put it on, you tighten it at the back, which is so hard to do, and when you took it, when you pull it in, it gets close around your neck, but then it like closes the side up, which is nice, because then it doesn't show the bar off. Fortunately, it's not see-through, which I'm quite happy with, but I like the design, I really like it. I don't know why you just kind of shouted at me yesterday and asked her. But yes, I like it, and I'm going to try it on for you guys. It is a medium, and this did cost me a pretty penny, of where's the label? Ah, there it is, it's hiding. This did cost me £20. This is why I've got a Primark. But this did 
kind of shout at me of please get me and try me on but yes here it is and I don't know what design you'd call that like a zigzag zebra kind of pattern I don't know but I like it let's try on hi guys so here it is I do like it I must say that problem with it being is that when I bend down at the hips like that it pulls all the way up at the front and the back so it gives me a wedgie and it chokes me because my mum decided to tighten it so hard because I couldn't do it myself. Here it is. I do like it. But the worst thing is, you can see my awful tan lines. Yes, I've been sat in the sun when it's been like nearly 30 degrees. And I've had a top on which has come up to here. And then um, has covered the whole the rest of my top, my chest. So my tan ends here. As you can, oh my god. As you can see, there it is awful. It's like the tan line of like nightmares. But yes, then the other day I ended up wearing a vest top outside and it was the other day when it was like proper hot and it was like a weird hot, it was a like humid hot and um, I didn't realise I got sunburned until I got in the bath and I was just pure red on here and also on my chest all that was missing was the bra straps and my vest top straps. It was quite awful. In the bath it was just awful. There was also a gap as well where the plait was. But yes, here is the dungarees, here is the jumpsuit, I really like it. Problem being is that, let me just do this, problem being is that the bottoms are very loose, it is a very flowy one, but that makes it better because then when hot, humid weather like the UK has been recently, and today it's been weird weather, um, it's much more air flowing, but yes, I really like it. Tell me in the comments below if I should keep it or if I should um, take it back, but I generally love this um, jumpsuit, it fits me perfectly, and my mum says it makes me look skinnier. No, slimmer, she said. Her words is, it makes you look slimmer. Yes, that's how tubby I've been getting, which I can't really tell in this. But it didn't really do good for my hips. Guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I am definitely taking the play suit back, but I am in the middle of keeping that jumpsuit because I really, like, I'm more 75% keep, 25% take back. Because I generally love that play suit. It does really good, um, like, structure in helping i don't know what you call it it does really good for my structure and my po not posture it does it's just really good for my structure and um i really like it and i don't think i'm gonna take it back what's your opinions on it guys um that was the video i don't know what the next video is gonna be um payday is coming up once again i know um i don't know what videos are gonna be coming up in that payday though because I'm not going to be going to Leeds because it's just absolutely ridiculous and there won't be any Wales hauls coming up or like Wales linked things coming up such as what have I bought for Wales. Um, I won't be doing what's in my suitcase this year, um, which is very sad. But I'm hoping to vlog, um, I'm going to be hoping to vlog my birthday, I don't know because my birthday is 11th of July, I might go out, I don't know because obviously I can't really go anywhere at the moment. and. The only places I've been going recently is Westside, Costa and Guys Lakes is open, yippee. Um, and Morrison's in Eden, Morrison's Guys, that's all the places I've been. So, yes, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you all on Friday's brand new video. I'm hoping I have one by then. I don't know if it'll be yet though, because I've still got one on it, but I don't want to be like just putting it on the halls. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be yet. It might be a Pandora, um, might be a Pandora charm story thing, um, fairy cakes. Sorry, who subscribed to me on my channel? She's an amazing um, YouTuber herself, so please check her out. Um, the that is not a shout. That is not an asked shout out either. That is not a shout out which has just been asked for. It's um, I just wanted to give her a shout because she's such an amazing YouTuber. I do have a shout out though, but her YouTube channel will be in the description below. I've just remembered I've got a YouTube. I've got an Instagram to shout out. Um, I've also I'm finding it. Um, I have a girl called Lucy Watts who is wanting to shout out her sister Emily Watts. So hi Emily and hi Lucy. Um, hope you're doing all right and thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Um, but I have got a disclaimer right now is that I will no longer be accepting shout out requests on Instagram because I've gotten a lot of, um, well I've had two recently asking for shout outs and I have shouted them out but I just feel it's going to end up having too many shout outs coming through so I will no longer be accepting shout outs on Instagram or any other social media um, asking shout outs for sisters or brothers or siblings or friends because I am going to be doing um, a shout out video 
because it's been requested so many times and lots of subscribers wanting the shout outs so I'm going to be doing a dedicating a video to a shout out video so yes I will no longer be accepting any shout out requests for siblings, friends or anything else of that matter or for your personal self it's just that it's good that we're getting too many and I feel bad for shouting so many people out and not someone else out for example so yes guys thank you for watching I shall see you all on Friday, fingers crossed. Um, love you guys. See you on Friday. Bye. Also, believe yourself and stay safe, guys.